Let's get out of here. I can't see. Come on, it's not far now. You've got to get up. They're coming, 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 coming. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Where am I? I'm Patrick Kemp, and this is the Offord Lighthouse. You were brought here when you passed out last night. Did you bring me here? No. Uh, my mate managed to carry you back to my car and got away before you were spotted. He sounded familiar, like we'd met before. What's his... Um, he'd rather stay anonymous. Come down for breakfast. You must be starving. So, Mike, what the hell were you doing out there in the middle of those woods? Not exactly safe to go wandering around these parts. I was following up on a lead. I... Wait a minute. How do you know my name? Um, you were, you were mumbling it last night when you, when you were semi-conscious. My wife, Sarah... She she died a couple of years ago. She worked for MI5 and was on assignment near the Bentwaters Air Force Base. They wouldn't tell me anything about what she was doing there. The cause of death was put down as severe burns. My friend Gary is a computer hacker and he managed to hack into a government computer system to try to find out what really happened to her. Most of the stuff he got into just led to dead ends, but last week, he found something that mentioned Project Hawker, and that Sarah had been on an assignment near the base. Then I read what sounded crazy. Information about UFOs, aliens, and an experimental machine, so I thought I'd get down there. It's the only lead I've ever had about Sarah's death. I made it to the perimeter fence and I was knocked to the floor. And this, this deafening noise just pounding in my head. Yeah, it, it won't be so bad next time. Next time? What is it? Okay, here's the deal. There's a group of people experimenting with alien technology. Particularly craft and, well, time travel. It's called Project Hawker. I kind of skipped over that part. It all sounded a bit science fiction and... Well, this ain't science fiction. It's real. And it's happening here, right under our noses. As far as we can tell, they've not exactly got fully working craft. Just stuff they've thrown together. That's what the noise is. If you get to within about a quarter of a mile of those things, it puts out a whole shitload of EM noise. Do you have any photos of what they're working on? No. We've seen glimpses. But whether we're using conventional cameras or these newfangled digital things, we just get completely bleached out photos. We're organising another trip down there in a couple of nights. They do some kind of tests in most nights. If you're interested, you can come along. Definitely. Just me and you? No, there'll be a few of us going down. They should actually be here in a minute to pick up some equipment. I'll introduce you. Great. So, what's your interest in all this? Well, one night about five years ago, my brother Ian went missing around that base. We'd both seen unusual lights in the sky that night, and he just took off in my jeep and didn't come back. I went out there, found the empty jeep, and absolutely no sign of him. He's been on the missing persons list ever since. Oh, that must be terrible for you. Ah, that'll be them. Mike, this is Matt, 
and Claire. Me and Claire run a magazine about UFOs and aliens and that sort of thing. I hear you have an interest in that. Yeah? What's the magazine called? Yeah, it's called Cover Up. We've been building up quite a good circulation now. We're hoping to get some pictures of Harlan's base and the things that he's been building. Harlan? Oh. Has Patrick not told you about him? No. I just talked a little with Mike about his group. Gerald Harland is the leader of the group I mentioned to you. They don't seem to be affiliated with military or government. Just a bunch of well-organized, well-armed thugs. He used to be quite high-ranking in the military, until he got thrown out. Now he seems focused on getting the alien technology working. We're mainly doing recon on his activities at the moment, to see exactly what he's up to. So, what's he doing that's so bad? If we're right, he's trying to attempt time travel with the alien technology. Anything could happen. But, in the meantime, his experiments are destroying the planet. You've experienced the white noise and the pounding in your head, haven't you? Oh yeah. That's a machine. It's not tuned or built correctly, we think. And it puts out huge amounts of electromagnetic distortion that interferes with biological life forms nervous systems. We've seen the local wildlife affected by it too. Also, huge cracks in the Earth's crust have appeared overnight. We'd better get going, Claire. <sighs> okay. We'll see you two Tuesday night. Okay, I must fill you in with everything we've found out so far about Harland and his experiments. Here. What's all this stuff? It's mostly surveillance equipment, cameras, and a few bits and pieces that make them in handy. I've brought a few little gadgets of my own. 